Hey there, this is a continuation of OAuth OpenID Connect series. Uh, in this video, we will see about the client credential flow, which is the last flow of OAuth, OAuth 2.0 uh, flows. Till now, we have seen about the service discovery uh, endpoint, client registration, uh, authorization code flow, implicit flow, and resource owner flow. Uh, using that, how, how did we get the access token ID token? In the client credential flow, there is no user entity is involved. Here, it's like a, it's a like a client, just a client authentication. That means like client has to provide to provide their OAuth client and OAuth client secret. Uh, authorization server will verify this client, uh, verify this secret and ID, and then provide an access token. Uh, basically, uh, this flow is used to between uh, used for service to service communication. Uh, actually, in the microservices, like if you have multiple uh, like uh, multiple microservices are running and each service has to communicate each other uh, so for that communication uh, they can uh, use this uh, client credential flow to get the access token to access the protected resources now the client information here you can see like a, a grant type is one of, one of the grant type is a client credentials uh, client credentials also does not have any redirect uris and as usual like your client id and the secret everything is present here now we can see the demo so let me first click the client credentials uh, page. So in that page, uh, okay, we see like a post call is made to a uh, token URL and we got the access token. Uh, let's see the what is the post call. So in the post call, you can see the client credentials as a grant type, client ID and a secret and the scope. That's it. So we are not providing any other uh, 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 any other information in this post call uh, as a <clears throat> as a as a response for this post call. Uh, we will get an access token there is no id token for this uh, for the client credential flow so here like you'll get the uh, we have decoded this access token there is no id token because like we used only with the client uh, OAuth client id and the secret and we will see the and we will see the code so in the main gate it, uh, this client credential is mounted on the client credentials url and uh, this oauth 2 will have all its corresponding information util class and this is our client client credential flow we'll see the how it is uh, exe executed so first we are preparing the post call the client type is a client credentials client id client secret and what is the scope then finally we'll hit the OAuth server using a jersey web client as a post call and we'll get the response so no id token for this flow so we get an access token and it is present in the html page so that's a very simple client credential flow and this has to be used only in the service to service communications the source code to run this demo is uh, hosted in the uh, 100bytes.com um, uh, bitbucket repository okay. the link to this uh, resource code repository is presented in the 100bytes.com uh, corresponding uh, video, uh, tutorial page so you can uh, you can get the link from there and you can you are free to use this uh, source code for understanding purpose okay that's all about the client credential flow we will see refresh token flow in the next video Please visit 100bytes.com for more tutorials. Thank you.